There was a bit of weddinging going on over in Dusseldorf, which is out in Germany. Um, it was a COVID-19 wedding with fucking elbow bumps and uh, lads in cars then just driving away. But there's not many people that have gone around to see it because uh, the, the social distancing. So it was something. New. It was something new. They won't. They won't forget it anyway. Like, do you know what I mean? Did they even have cake? They're just beeping hor- horns and fucking. That was it. Shifted. Yeah, it gets a bit annoying after a while. The beeping like French lads over in Paris in France. Doing social distance and marking jobs on the pavement stone slabs in the middle of the station jab. Fucking Parisian uh, yellow vest boys. Tell you, they're a bit different to the Parisian yellow vest boys that were doing the damage out on the streets every fucking day and week. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't know where to stand on them myself. Like, I was with them beginning, then you hear they're fucking just taking the piss the next. But then, are they really taking the piss? Was there plants involved? You wouldn't fucking know. Crazy, crazy scenes and dreams over in Schottorf in Germany now. As car after car after car assembled for some kind of COVID rave off. Crazy boys with inflatable trees and balaclavas in cars. Fist pumped the night sky as smoky laser beams and lights illuminated everybody's eyes. Local police seized over 500,000 tablets. Barcelona lads are doing fucking normal stuff after all the lockdown easing like. People conversed on street corners. Joggers, cyclists, day trippers, skateboarders and toe touchers were seen out in the park in full force in Madrid. Police were on hand to make sure nobody flouted boundary rules, including this woman. A rake of fucking Karl Marx bashers got absolutely policied by the Deutsch Polizei boys the last day over in fucking Deutschland. Antifa and the boys were asking for you. Do you want to go pinting with them next Tuesday? One of them seen the camera lens and got scared and turned the head away after making a peace remark. They were manhandling folk with masks on. They weren't wearing the masks for COVID. They were wearing them so they didn't get fucking spied out of it, man, by the German strong arms. Das Kapital, yeah? Capitalize this. Slovenian bike whistlers were peddling their hearts away the other day as a bike-off commenced in the middle of Slovenia. More communists were involved again, but there were no signs of kerfuffle like which we saw earlier in Berlin. Fair play to them, they're doing what they want. Sydney, Australia now, where the annual surf-a-thon got underway over a Bondi Beach. Millions of surf-clad surfers attended the scene. Some with board, some without. Lockdown parameters have been distended from the sea so that many boogie boarders can get their boogie on and many surfers can surf and go to their heart's content. Everybody was allowed to go into the water and do their thing to help fight the battle against COVID-19. Mecca. 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 Out in Mecca now, just hovering above the mechanization of Mecca, slowly becoming more mechanized by the day. Not much to see, really. Well, I mean, there's a lot to see, but there was not was not anything going on. That's usually probably full of lads going around at that yoke, but I mean, not now, obviously, with the fucking COVID. Rio de Janeiro now in Brazil, where even the statues are mashing up to help fight the stop against COVID-19. Many people do wear the mask there, but it's the statues who are wearing them today. Some people went to the beach, other trees just gently wafted in the wind. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Navi Mumbai, India, where flocks of eternal flamingos are returning to their eternal perch outside Flamingo Land. 7.9 million of these pretty creatures land here every day. Tomorrow, this place will be like a ghost town. Their journey begins, but we shall never see them again, for they will all die before they get to come back. Just the way things are. A guy with an assault rifle and a silly George Bush mask stood outside Pittsburgh house the other day, flanked by other militia-type men. Some were the army, but others, I mean, was your man Drekken the George Bush man was in the army? What the fuck is going on there? Is he in the army? I wouldn't imagine the army would let lads like that fucking walk around with a, an AR. He's the army, like. Or is he? He wouldn't fucking, know. like. There's, there's lads in trucks coming into town anyway. 
Don't know what is going on and I'm I'm not arsed. It's so shit. The whole thing is shit. Everyone has cameras on them and they're all like going to these things and filming each other protesting and stuff like that and I've no interest in any of it. Peaceful Cornwall now over in the United Kingdom where COVID-19 has seen a drop in footfall at one of the local theme parks, Cornwall Land. The theme park, which was constructed in 1993, doesn't really look that good anyway. The roller coaster, seen from this angle, looks small and not that good. The Deutsche Dresden dudes were queuing up in Dresden queues the last day trying to get fucking mashed up to the hilt. A fresh consignment of Chinese masks had just hit the Dresden tarmac seven hours prior to it happening. Once word got out that there was a stink of mask to be had, you had lads coming over and fucking trading in their old masks for new masks. The police were on hand to make sure nothing got fucking taken. Five masks for two, or two masks for five. If you don't have the money, don't fucking come crying to us when you don't have a mash cake. Queues were forming the last day in Taipei City, Taiwan. Why? Because of COVID-19. COVID-19. The pandemic, which has swept the globe like a swept globe pandemic, has affected many countries differently in a myriad of different ways. The Taiwanese, scanning and buying and collecting from vending machines, feel confused and let down by your government, which seems to encourage only vending machines and no other solution to the problem. All the items in the vending machine were made in Taiwan. After you the last night, they couldn't get a hold of you. Where were you? They were wanting to know why you weren't there down at the dream seance. Quiet roads out in Turkey, which hasn't seen this quieter road for a very long time. The reason? <laughs> Istanbul Bridge was completely deserted, as well as these two highways, which usually had cars on them. This man, taking a little selfie thing, got out in front of the middle of the road to do it. An opportunity he wouldn't have been afforded during normal times. Fireman Phil, the Bushido Blade Blaze Master, was given it sticks the last day, while Johnny Candles had his own little bit of flamey business to attend to. Their cause? The seventh day of worship on the third wave of Israel. An annual event not to be taken lightly. Candleman 7 with the flames of Hades, did a little protest flamage in Jerusalem Alley. He was backed up by another man of the flame who went unnamed, a third man with a brand new candle lit it, while the Boogie Brothers, Barry and Benjamin Boogie, did their own little bit of flaming. Lads in Tbilisi were going spraying the streets with their fucking street sprinklers. Lads with sweepy sweeps were doing the cleanup after them as well. If you ask me, it was a fucked operation. What are you going making the mess for if you have to clean it up anyways? Nevertheless, they persevered in that way that the Georgians are known to persevere. They've done it in the past. They'll do it again. It's Georgia. It's clean. It's Tbilisi, it's safe. Notre Dame in Paris, France now, where the COVID has got to the top of the dome with the new shaft they were placing on top of the cathedral, which was destroyed by flame. The flame destroyed cathedral has had its restoration halted. Due to COVID-19. The bells tolled, but for whom? The bells tolled, but for whom? A single suited, masked man ringeth the bell to signify COVID-19's omnipresent presence in our lives. <laughs> Outside, people clapped the bell for it represented hope in a COVID-19 landscape devoid of hope. Lads were looking to go shopping in Bangkok the last day, but they were being told to space out or fucking space home. One by one, people were let into places. Gold chains were dished out by the box and by the pound to people who had gone without gold for four whole weeks due to COVID-19. A bundle of Thai dollars, or Bangkok bullets as they're known in the biz, was wafted into a side hatch, was bungled into a side hatch. Yet more scenes of empty streets and nature returning to its rightful place, the world around us, as these gnarly little foxes, nasty little yokes they were, were spotted early this morning in Tel Aviv, which is on lockdown due to COVID-19. Nasty little foxes, are they? Sweet beasts as well. They're noble, but they're nippy as fuck, and they would do max damage to you. Max damage. If they got a hold of you, you'd know about it. It'd be more than tetanus you'd be needed.
A lovely bit of salsa and cha-cha was on the menu for the Bogotans the last day down in crazy Colombia. It was the old Jimmy Two-Step giving it one-two on the red brick carousel downtown. Colombian flags on balconies were waved and people danced the good dance against the global onslaught of COVID-19, a pandemic virus which has seen the world enraptured. Dancing dogs and waving men provided a little bit of entertainment for people with cameras. The images were shared and galvanized a world which has become divided by a pandemic virus. The crack is good in Wuhan, China, where they've managed to isolate everything and get rid of the bad stuff that happened. Did they create it though? Or did someone else create it, do you know what I mean? A lot of that going round. If you delve into those fucking... If you go down those black holes, you won't be leaving them all week, man. The virus has hit India so hard that even its motorbikes have turned into solid globules of Covidian slime. The Indian government refused to comment on why it happened at all, saying we're looking into it. We're looking into it. <laughs> the Slapdash 500 got underway in Bangkok, Thailand the last day featuring teens from all over the land of Thai aiming to get to the top of the tree with their own Bangkok COVID robot knockoffs which have been constructed in only a matter of weeks. Each of these little robo-covidians features a black box in the event of a crash, malfunction or a hijacking by 19 hijackers armed with box cutters and Android tablets. The pride of the computing world, COVIDbot aims to please in a rapidly changing pandemic ridden globe. Each Covidian boasts its own little eyeball, which can see bottles of Chang and rice from over two miles away. LA now where people were beeping the fuck out of it in a drive through Why? The drive throughs had just been reopened and they wanted their fix. Oh no, they're on strike. Sorry, sorry, I didn't know, I didn't know. Yep, fair play to you, fair play to you lads. Venice, city of canals and love. Boats, boatmen, and many other beautiful structures and architectural amazements. San Silvestro boat stop was deserted, bar one man who stood forlornly on the edge of the jetty. A rake of gondolas had nowhere to go, and a lad with a spray box did his own little business on the Bridge of Sighs. In St. Peter or St. Mark's Square, I can't remember which scene, I'm sorry, people walked around and then went down the side alleys and over bridges. A spot of veg, bite of an apple, or even the lick of a banana, not available to most. But to these lucky customers, a stick of celery or even an avocado was in the mix. Here, did you see that Lexus that rolled into Seoul the other day, man? The fucking DS stopped and checked for any hash with this little new hash meter they've got. They got nothing though. And they fucking missed the whole car park full of the stuff. The sound of silence in Paris, France. Notre Dame, a monumental cathedral destroyed by flame. This time last year, the flame destroyed cathedral was being rebuilt. But COVID-19 put that to bed for another few months at least. The bells tolled, but for whom? The bells tolled, but for whom? Ding, ding, dong. The belleth toll for thee. Notre Dame said hello to the world again while people clapped whilst the bell toll. <laughs> the Venetian dream, a city built on water, a boat floats upon the amazing canalways of this romantic and bobantic of all of Europe's cities. A gaggle of gondolas sat forlornly looking on at the box spray master who did his own little bit of magic work along the bridge of size. St. Peter or St. Mark's Square was deserted and mask dwellers, a common sight amongst the city's bridges and byways, went to stock up on fruit, veg and sundry for the coming days ahead. A man with avocados, celery, lettuce and tomatoes made a killing.